by Matt Independent Study Student. The topic for this video, we are going to practice with additional example of how to simplify expression by combining like terms. Let's begin with example one. Given this expression, three times x plus four minus two times three x plus one. The first step we are going to do will be we are going to distribute the three and distribute the negative two to remove the parentheses. And what we apply over here is called the distributive property. So that will give us three x plus 12 minus 6x minus 2. Then we are going to combine light terms. So we can go ahead and move the light term all together. So we have 3x minus 6x and then uh, minus 2 plus 12. And these two are light terms. These two are light terms. So combine, that will give us negative 3x plus 10. Now let's move on to example two. Example two, given this expression, one half times six x plus four minus the fraction with the denominator five, the numerator will be fifteen x plus five. Okay, and again, the first thing you are going to be distribute the two bill. Okay. Now here it's a little bit tricky. If you see nothing in front of your fraction, you can think this is negative one. So you can think about like this. So you can distribute again. Okay. So now I will have uh, one half times six is six over 2, so 1 times 6 is 6, and copy the denominator. This is how you multiply fraction, and copy the variable, and plus 4 over 2, 1 times 4 is 4, and here I have ne negative 1, times 15 is negative 15x, and the denominator is state, and negative times positive is negative. Now let's in the five here, you can see six divided by two will give you three x. Four divided by two will give you two. Now here, you have um, one fraction, right? You can break this one, this one single fraction into two fractions with the same denominator because since you have two terms in your numerator, so you have negative fifteen x over 5 minus 5 over 5. Okay. Now simplify again, so that will give me 3x plus 2 and then minus 3x minus 1. Now we are going to combine like terms. So you have uh, 3x minus 3x. I just rewrite it so that all the like terms next to each other minus 1 plus 2. So 3x minus 3x is 0. Minus 1 plus 2 will give you 1. Now let's move on to example 3. Here given this expression, 5x minus 1 over 3 plus 5 x plus 9 over 2. Now let me go ahead and move the paper up a little bit so we can see. And let's draw a vertical line again to the next page. Okay, there. So here we can see that these two fractions they don't have the same denominator. We cannot add two fractions if they don't have the same denominator. So what we're looking for that we're looking for common denominator. So in this case two I mean three and two they are prime numbers. So the 
the product of two and three because it's called the least common denominator. So we multiply the two prime, so the product will be six. So right here, I have three, so I'm going to multiply by two. Okay, so I do the same thing. I multiply by two to the, num the numerator. Now the second denominator is the two, so I multiply by three to the same to the top, which is the nu numerator. You multiply by three. Next, you are going to distribute the two to each of the term inside. So two times five will give you ten. So now you have ten x minus two, and your denominator is six plus. 3 times 5 will give you 15x. 3 times 9 will give you 27. And again, your denominator is 6. So now you can see that now you have two fractions with the same denominator or with a common denominator. So you, you can add them up now. So when you add the two fractions, you do not add the denominator. Just copy the denominator to 6, and you add the new numerator. So 10x minus 2, this is the first numerator, plus the second numerator will be 15x plus 27. So now we can go ahead and combine like term here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the 6 in the denominator. First, I move all the like term together. So the 10x and the 15x be together. And then the 27 and the negative 2, okay, and copy the denominator again. So now the 10x and the 15x, they are like term, we add them up, so that will give us uh, 25x. And 27 minus 2 also give us 25, positive 25. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw a horizontal line and then write down our summary. And erase any extra that you have below this horizontal line. So let's write down su summary. So in this video, we learn we learned to simplify expressions by combining like terms and we also learned or we also we also learned to add two fractions with unlike the denominator. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in class. Good night.